Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to I Engineers, our usual monthly program at the Children's Museum, which we're presenting on video for you today, presented by the Fluke Corporation. What we're going to do is talk about chemical engineering today. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're all washing our hands to get the germs off of them and make sure our hands are stay clean and so forth. So using soap is something that we're all very familiar with today. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the chemistry about how soap works. And uh, then we'll do a couple of experiments. Here's an example of what is called a soap bubble. It's called a micelle. And it's made up of a bunch of soap molecules in a little ring that attach themselves to dirt or an oil drop or a germ in the middle here. And uh, the, the uh, molecules are very special. On one end, they, they like water. They're called hydrophilic. They, they uh, really like to go to water. The other end is called hydrophobic or afraid of water. Uh, and so it's what hooks up to your germs and dirt and, and oil drops. So, so all of the bubbles in the soap on your hand are one of these micelles picking up dirt and so forth uh, in the water. First, I'm going to show you how soap removes dirt from your hands and germs. We're going to put a little water in the dish here. Oh, I got a little water. And then to represent the germs and the dirt and oil and so forth on your hands that we want to wash away, we're going to use some pepper. Then we're going to put, introduce the soap and you're going to see the pepper running for the corners. You'll notice there are still a few flecks of pepper in the middle here. That's why you have to wash for 20 seconds to make sure you get them all. Now we're going to do something that's a little bit of fun to kind of show how energy is used by the soap as it pulls the uh, germs and dirt away from your hands. Uh, and as we all know, Newton says, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. And you're going to see that now. I'm going to take my little boat and put it in the water here in the tray. See if I can get it to stop. And when I put the soap on it, notice how it runs across there. As soon as the soap hits it, the soap... Uh, ties onto it and pulls it away, and the boat goes the opposite direction. Thanks, Dr. Science, for teaching us a little bit about chemical engineering today. Now let's turn science into play. Using what we've learned today about soap, let's have a chemical engineering boat race. All you'll need is paper to cut into the shape of a boat, soap to help power our boat, water to keep it afloat, and a container for this whole race to take place in. Just like Dr. Science showed us, you'll just use a drop of soap to propel your boat. Now you can try cutting different boat shapes out of your paper to see if one does better than the others. We hope you had fun learning about soap and chemical engineering today. Stay tuned for more videos from Imagine Children's Museum.